How long have you been to Birmingham now? Uh, it has been only you know, three months. I started oh, three May months. 1st okay. as a fellow. Yeah. And, but I'm still staying in Geneva. Oh, I'm, you're... I'm, I'm located there for the next year or so. Right. To work on the experiments. Yeah, I haven't you need... stayed yet, yeah. lived in Birmingham. Oh, you haven't stayed here I'm, for... No, okay. I have just come, I came a few times for you know, right. a week Right, I see, I see. Yeah. Okay. During the year I'm planning to come back and forth quite often. But yeah, I'm yeah. To stay but you, you, you need to do your experiment many over right. um, o over there, right? Yeah, because the you know the accelerator is running until the end of I mean the beginning of 2013, right. and then we still have to finish a bit the data analysis until you know, right. summer. So so it's much better, you know, with modern uh, teleconferencing techniques you can participate, but it's always better to <laughs> to be there yes, close to the to the action. Absolutely. So um, what what a normal day for your research are you able to well, look like? You know, in, 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 I mean, most of the day is, is related to solving problems and so bugs in your computing code or something like that. So, you know, I mean, the, the experiment is quite big. So there are... You have lots of people. Lots of people and different things. So, you know, there are people that are working mostly on the, on the detector side. So they have to take yeah. sieves and they have to uh, you know, make sure that the data we are recording are, are of good quality. Yeah. More pe other people are more on the preparation of the simulations, etc., and yeah. computing, yeah. and of course also the analysis. Usually, what happens is that um, uh, people are rotating. So uh, yeah. for yeah. a while, you you do mostly uh, detector-related uh, work. For some time, you do mostly computing-related work. Right. Somehow, this keeps you from getting bored or anything. Yeah. Okay. And you know. Typically, in a day, you have to you have small, small or bigger problems you have to solve every time. Right. So, what do you do? Um, right. What's your research? Right. So, my research is is related to electroweak symmetry breaking. So, I mean, this is in mean, the standard model. We have a st standard model of particle physics. So, this, I mean, the aim of, of particle physics to 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 find out the, the smallest, smallest, uh, you know, building blocks of blocks of nature yeah, and yeah. understand the interactions. Yes. So we have a model which yeah. is called the standard model so yeah. it has been quite successful yeah. and my, I mean in this model we have a, a part of this model is uh, related to, to how particles are getting mass and this is the electroweak symmetry how, breaking. How particles get mass? Yes, so right, for yeah. example we have you know the, 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 the carriers of interactions like the W and Z boson where you know are, are um, responsible for uh, interactions um, uh, nu nuclear interaction, let's say the, the decays of uh, the neutron and the, and the muon, etc. So, this we know that they cannot be massless as the photon. So, the question, one of the big questions in high energy physics was how these particles get mass. And yeah. this is through electroweak symmetry breaking, which is in the standard model, yeah. is, you know, is related to the presence or the appearance of the Higgs boson. Yeah. So, basically, my, my work is related to to the Higgs boson yeah. search, and we were, you know, quite lucky to, to find something recently. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, we have something that looks quite re reasonably close to what we expected the Higgs right. boson to look like. Right. So, so how long do you think you there will be a definite answer right. to these questions? This is a good question. I mean, yeah. um, the what we have now to the to the precision that we can, uh, you know, assess the, the yeah. properties looks quite close to, to what the standard model predicted. Of course, now with more data, you know, have to measure more precisely right. all its, I mean, the different patterns in the decay. So what, when, you know, it, I mean, the Higgs boson, when it created, you know, it immediately um, decays to different particles. So right. we now have to see if the patterns of the decays is, uh, is the, the one predicted by the standard model or, you know, if its properties like the, the spin or the, or the parity of this particle are the ones that the Higgs boson yeah. um, uh, the standard model predicts. So, I think by the end of this year, yeah. um, you know, mid, let's say, I mean, by the end of this year, we'll have enough data to start saying something. But probably, we will need to use the data from the next run of LHC. So, as you know, the LHC will stop for for one year, for two years between 2013 and 2014, and then we we'll start again. Right. So, I do, mean, do you need maintenance or sort of uh, maintenance and upgrade? So they will try okay. also to increase the energy, right? Um, yeah. Because now we are running at 8 eV, uh, yeah. the center of mass, and yeah. we'll try to go at 13 yeah. or 14. We'll see. 
Okay. And so we'll have a preliminary answer. Yeah. But this is, you know, an iterative procedure now. From now on, you know that there is a particle there and you, you know, you need more and more data to start refining right. the knowledge about these properties. Right. So, so the, the, my, one, one question I, I'm, well, as an outsider, I want to know why should we care whether the particles right. has a mass or how is it going to help us to understand yeah. the universe or... or because well, we, I don't understand this. Right, I mean, know. you know, we, we should care f f for different reasons, right? One is the practical side of it. So yes, yes. the Higgs boson itself, yes. I mean, is fundamental knowledge. So there is no real immediate practical you know, application to the fact that we found yes, yes. this particle. Yes. Uh, but in order to build the, the detectors or the accelerators to, to, to search for it, we yes. have done a lot of breakthroughs in different um, um, in different sec sectors of uh, technology, like we have very powerful magnets, yeah. like nine Tesla magnets. Right. We have, okay. I mean, the detectors are among the, you know, most complex and precise detectors that we have in in, in in particle physics. And you know, this knowledge is getting diffused to other fields. For example, right. detectors can be used also for medical reasons, etc. Right. Or okay. you know, even, you know, we have. Technology for vacuum for the vacuum in the in the accelerator can be even used for photovoltaic systems. Uh, right. So, that, so the technologies you used to build to those build. detectors or right. um, they can be used ha have some sort of yeah. other applications in yeah. potentially in the future. Right. I mean, actually, there are a lot of applications already. So let's say the technological part finishes when you have everything ready yeah, to some yeah. extent. Yeah. But for example, there are technologies that are already. Used for example, one one example that I like very much is um, when you. I mean, we have very precise uh, alignment systems for our detectors, right, uh, right. in order to know with precision where where each one is positioned, so that you correlate the, the signals from the particles. Yes, yes. And then the some some people from our experiment were yeah. able to to transform this system yeah. to to digitize. Um, uh, analog uh, record media like um, normal vinyl uh, uh, recordings. So yeah. by by you know actually and we you know by actually trying to to measure the dip of the of the groove around the around the uh, the, 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 the analog um, record uh, tape, yeah. which is you know quite quite important. I mean you can preserve without any damage very very preci precious uh, right. recordings. Right. So I mean this is the technological part which is the most yes. obvious. On yes. the other hand, yes. Yes. you know this this is a fundamental research. So I mean we, we we now have one more step further in our understanding of the world, right? So yeah. we I mean this is really you know intellectual step forward for, that, for yes. mankind. Right? I, yeah. So the I think the standard model was a quite big success because you know, we could understand to a very high precision um, all of, I mean, most of the, um, what is ongoing in, in, the, in the microcosm. Yeah. And the Higgs boson was the last missing piece. Yeah. So somehow, we, in the theory, we assumed that the Higgs boson exists, and then we, we had all these very nice right. consistency and predictions. Yeah. And now we, we actually found it. So we know that the model that we use to understand the microcosm yeah, is, yeah, is quite well, to the precision that we can test it now. Of right, course, okay. you cannot, uh, you know, when you go to higher energies, higher energy scales, then you can find even more subtle phenomena. Right. But at least at the energy scales that we can check, we know that we are in the good uh, and quite good description of what we see.